I'm sorry, there's no way around it, but the AI is going to beat you down. As long as you uh, do all the stuff we're talking about and level up your rules really high in the training and get those extra papers and books with the Annihilation and the... I can't... The Meteor Storm is the other one, yeah. As long as you get those two books when I mention them, you should be pretty set when it comes to the end game. But those are bitch-ass attacks, that's all I'm really going to say about it. Yeah, one eater can probably take out a whole week. Why the fuck would you use the fuck man? God damn it, that's retarded. You're dead anyway for your stupidity. Hey, you level up, alright. So I definitely plan on running some organized screen games next time, after this mission, before we go rescue the prince. Because it seems like I've asked some guys I can level up. Huh? What's this? Power fruit. <laughs> so useful. Yeah, Power Fruit is for stamina. I know I mentioned that before, but I kind of... Yeah. And when me and, uh, me and Father Coruscant are running it back in the day, Power Fruit's not important at all. We would pop like a rest right in front of the stronghold, and yeah, it was too stupid to come attack us when we were sleeping, so that's their fault. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the areas were kind of dumb, but... You know, that's kind of expected, because this game isn't supposed to be impossible. I don't know if you see the two flying guys in the front of the enemy unit. They are the fairies and the gremlins, sorry. And uh, he's going to talk about them in the meantime, tell you how much of a bitch they are. Gremlins can really be a pain in the ass. The gremlins and their good equivalents, I don't even remember what the hell they were called. Something about fairies or something. Uh, their, their attacks barely do any damage, but the problem is, at the same time, their attacks can do subdual damage, and they can wind up knocking people unconscious and disabling them from attacking. Also, retreating is something you can't really prevent most of the time, but will be obnoxious. There are occasions where you will destroy an enemy unit's leader, and when you chase them, if they run to a stronghold that the enemy controls, they can retreat, and they will completely vanish. You will not get the chance to finish them off, but if you can catch them before that, it's good experience for free, basically. You do have to watch out in the direction you chase them. If you can chase them in a direction that leads away from enemy strongholds, that would be your best bet. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw it when uh, that one unit disappeared in the main uh, the main hold of this this area, but he kind of turned into a black orb and you saw that little sparkle. That's when they appeared back in the stronghold. They basically kind of ran to head because they didn't want to all die, so... Killed the leader, a couple of my guys leveled up except for me. But yeah, what's his face? I can't think of his name. Actually, made it back to that stronghold with the witch's den. So I'm gonna initiate a field pause and we're gonna show you what the witch's den is like. So you're gonna select Muller and we're gonna send him into this thing and you're gonna. Wrong thing. Um. Yeah, you're gonna. You see the witch's hat there? I mentioned that before. You're gonna. Select him and go into Stronghold Commands and Witches Den. I'll show you what that looks like. You'll go in there. You'll see the Witches Bot. You'll see the the bitch Den in there. And you're fighting war, aren't you? Through his research, finally came up with miracles without relying on a god. <laughs> I think my experience going slow due to lack of willing subjects. Well, we can help you out there, lady. I do have a vast small fee, though. Do you need my skills? Of course we do. We have a dead guy. Please, if you arrive, they'll show you all the dead guys. We've only got one. Buzz, and he only costs under 50 to bring him back. I think that's a valiant, uh, valiant amount. Because we have 4,516 goth. So we're going to bring him back. He'll show up. He'll stop being dead. She'll say something retarded. Yada, yada, yada. Random heart. And he comes back with only one HP, though. I do need to mention that. There, I'm done. As if it wasn't a big deal. He only comes back with one HP, so she says don't push yourself too hard, so... 
I don't know, I like to chill, I basically leave that unit alone for the rest of the fight. On the stronghold so he can heal and he's good. So, yeah, it's just what I think anyway. This is my opinion actually matters. Well, it does matter, because I'm running the LP. So, let's see if we can find us a store. I think the store is over here. Where's the fucking store? Maybe it's up here. There it is. The yellow dot is the store. I guess we'll send Dio to be useful. You know, since I don't use him for anything else. Gotta be good for something. Ooh, bastards. Oh, I have 24 of those. Wait, no, I don't have any of those. We're gonna buy five of those. Sorry, when, uh, when things get a little intoxicated, it's kind of tough to, uh, measure things. It's... Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know if we mentioned the quick gate before. But the quick gate will allow you to warp back to your base, like uh, when the enemy retreated. It basically allows you to un uh, undispatch yourself and rehide. So, if you're getting your ass kicked really far away from your stronghold, you can quick gate back to the beginning and respawn yourself and you'll be at full health. It's, uh, it's a cheap way to do things. I mean, I don't intend on using any quick gates when I play, but if it comes down to me getting my ass kicked, I'll let you know. So, uh. I think we're just going to send Aisha to kill the final strongholds, because uh, that's what we want to do. So, we'll see what happens with that. I mean, like I've been saying the entire time, beginning missions are easy to the point where you can do this drunk like I am. <laughs> Me and my buddy can talk about order battle for 30 minutes and uh, nothing else matters. And we'll eventually win. I mean, you gotta be really, uh, really dumb to mess this up. I don't know. Hopefully, my random ass spouting has helped you guys in some aspect for this episode.